Hi folks, a uh, little bit of watercolour paper. It's got a, a failed, because uh, I, do, I do get failures, of course. That didn't quite work. It's, uh, it's only a bit of watercolour paper, but it uh, doesn't matter what, what the paper is, because I've given it a good coat of, uh, of gesso, of, of acrylic white of gesso, white gesso. Uh, I, I, I was given this with the, the bulk of paints, as you know, that somebody packs up painting and I got all the, uh, well, as much as I wanted. Uh, so I've got this acrylic gouache, extra fine quality. Well, I've given that a really good coat of gesso, so we'll uh, see what happens. And in any case, being acrylic, it will form its own coating, its own plastic coat. Now, I haven't a faintest idea what I'm going to paint, but I'm going to, it's going to be semi-abstract. And I've changed the, the, uh, the angle of my video recording because I do get the odd complaint about my head getting in the way. Uh, because when I do the stuff to the right, I start to get a bit too close to it. So I don't know, well, that's where my head will be. But so I'll try to, I, I can't really, I'm really sort of limited in my setup. Got this beautiful camera, this uh, Panasonic V770. Uh, it, it's a great performer, but if I get too close and, and my head goes into the shot, it, uh, it, does, it does damage the, uh, the, the focus. And I'm quite happy with the focus as it is, so I don't want to alter it. So, so I'll just use a bit of water and I'll get a bit of, bit of this, bit of that, nice, just whack a bit in. So we've got, I've got um, Vermilion, Ultramarine, Payne's Grey, Yellow Ochre and uh, Cad Yellow. A bit of yellow in there. So I, I don't want to do a representational painting. As far as I want it to be a representational painting, but sort of abstracted. So we've just got to get the the, the the paper covered with paint, and then we'll take it from there. Got some lovely. Uh, Titanium white, it's an artist's well, I think it's artist quality. It's a Galleria, and I bought a, to a 500ml pot of it. Oh, there we are. I'm just wondering if I can add any other colours to that. I don't count the black or the paint, the uh, paint's grey as a colour. So we've got one, two, three, four. We've got some yellow ochre. So we just clean the brush a bit. And then we're, we're coming with some much darker stuff over the top there. The really needs to dry, so we'll put in a bit of a bit of a field, I think. Uh, oh, burnt sienna. Let's have a bit of burnt sienna. That's that'll be my fifth colour. I do love burnt sienna. That's a system three acrylic, and it's uh, how big is it? Uh, why can't I see that? So, oh yes, 150 mil. So that's pretty good. Uh, right. So let's just put in a bit of the bit of that, bit of this. Just whack it on. It dries very quickly, even in our autumn days here. It's been like this is the weather. Apart from all the showers we've had, but a lot of rain. We're having a bit of a, I wouldn't say a, uh, a summer, but, uh, but uh, it's, the weather's lovely at the moment. 
It's about 15 degrees centigrade, which is quite warm for this time of year. But we'll, we'll pay the price for it, of course. Alright, let's just see if we can get some colour in here while it dries. Just advance it a bit. Yeah, it's still a bit wet. Uh, right, so let's put in some uh, some trees now. Red, blue, yellow, and my trees. A bit weak. I'm trying to do a bit of a bit of a river. I don't know. I'm just making this up as I'm going along. I'm just I'm just covering the uh, ground with my with my paint. So. Right, let's get some uh, texture in. I'll I'll use these these uh, worn out brushes just to get some. Uh, Done so many watercolors lately that I'm just running out of out of steam with them. So that's why I'm doing this one. Right, and that's some hard stuff for the uh, for the, uh, the trees. So paint's grey, red, bit of yellow. <clears throat> just a just a quickie here, really, but it might not end up quick because one changed one's mind. I do like the red in the greens. Now I did a couple yesterday, one I called the, uh, uh, what was it, so, um, Hog, Groundhog, Groundhog. That I think was the one for Patreon, Groundhog, or Ground Bog. It was a boggy scene and it was uh, great fun to do. And the other one was uh, watching the TV. You, you do see some scenes you wish you'd had the camera ready, but they've gone before you saw them out. And it was a fabulous uh, sky, dark sky, with um, a just a just a, a silhouette really in the foreground. And oh gosh, I I just wish I had. Well, I didn't. I I just memorised it the best I could. Uh, I really need a, a light red colour in in uh, on my palette, not the bright vermilion and cadmium reds. I want a light red, which is burnt, sort of a burnt sienna. Oops. I want, I want wild. Just, uh, just get the paint in. Don't worry about what it looks like at this stage. 
you can refine it as you go. Loads of colour. Look, we're getting somewhere here. A bit slow, but we're, we're coming on. I do, I do like it, but I never used to. Although I've done a lot of them, I uh, didn't like the way it dried. But then, but now I love the way it dries because you can crack on with the picture. We'll just cover up those trees, and we can put some more at the top here. Bit of red, bit of panes, a uh, bit of a uh, bit of the lovely uh, burnt sienna. Oh, that's coming on. Now I'm thinking of the wetlands when I do these. The wetlands is a lovely bit of a park in uh, Morden. South, south of London, south. And I've always imagined the uh, looking across a pond. Uh, from the boardwalk into all the trees and the. Uh, the lovely tops of the of all the marsh grasses that are in here. Oh, so we do all that. Yeah, I've just changed my mind. And it's over the pond. Oops, don't like that. So there's a lot of fish in this this pool. It got flooded. This bit of bit of land under the boardwalk. Um, and uh, when the flood subsided, just the fish stayed. And they're all pretty big now. They're all about a foot long. Oh, okay. So there we are. Well, I'll get a bit of a green in the corner here. Okay, let's get some dark in there to, to represent the shadow. So we we'll have just a bit of shadowy colour. This is abstracting, not going for any detail, just going for an impression. All right, let's go back to the sky now. We've, we've done quite a bit on that. A bit more dark in that foreground. Drag it down over to the over that bit of a, a pond. That's just to remind me that there is a pond there. Okay. Oh, 
Hi. So, <coughs> I haven't left a lot of room for that pond, have I? Just clean the brush. Right, that sky is just about dry now. That's a bit too too light. But, uh, I don't know if we can uh, soon change that. You don't have to spend days and hours doing the painting. Just go for it. Let's get some of that light on that horizon then we can counter change counter change counter change the uh, the trees and the foliage now I just need a bit, a bit more pains grey and a bit of red, a bit of blue. Okay, well that looks quite uh, reasonably convincing. That's a uh, rough sky. Now let's get in, in with that foliage. So we've got plenty of green here. I like a bit of red in my... I think I said that. You don't need plush brushes, expensive brushes, to do all this. Just, just rough, just rough. I've done lots of these, but this is a different, different approach. Okay, uh, let's get that a bit, uh, bit spiky. Right, let's see if we can just do that foreground now. Quite happy with the sky now, or more or less. It's a bit murky up here, but uh, we'll let it go. This is a demonstration. Ah, right, okay. Yellow ochre. 
and wet. In the horizon horizontal. This is just the spikes of the seed pods, I suppose that's seed pods, of the marsh grasses. And we'll go back and do this foregroundy stuff. Oh, look at that dark. Right, okay, it's nearly dark as so I want to go there because I can drag some of that over where I'm going to put the water. That just doesn't look very nice. So we'll change the shape of that. That's better. Uh -huh. Right, we're going with some some nice water. A bit of bit of ochre in there, I think. Oh, excuse me. Sort of reflecting the skies, there's a bit of, a bit of that bluey stuff in there. And we're going with some, some weedy stuff. A bit of white, a bit of cajello. In, in here. Right, I'm going to let that go. Um, that's a demonstration of fast and furious acrylic painting. Let's push that up. Let's give it a mount. See if that will fit. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, there we are. So we've got an acrylic speed painting. Uh, I'll just come out of that for a bit. Okay, now I can alter that, but uh, I will. I'll just go like that, and there we are. Put it out a bit, put it out, boom. Uh, there we are. It looks a bit lighter on the screen than it does in, in real life, but I hope you like it, folks. So what I'm going to do today, um, a busy day with the, the hospital visits and so on. Uh, right, I'll... Uh, well, there's absolutely no detail in that. It's all, it's all just, just impression. And, and I like simple impressions. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.